Carl Faubert, private detective, had just traveled thousands of kilometers from Montreal to reach this remote middle of nowhere area situated near the far northern Lake Atamebec. Granted, that was a great distance to cover for a sole client, but word had it that he was a particularly wealthy one. Carl had to drive a bit further north in order to meet with wealthy industrialist William Hamilton. William Hamilton was a prosperous owner who had acquired various businesses as well as metal mines in this northern region. Carl, always diligent in his work, always carried his log on him, in which he scribbled down thoughts and leads alike during the course of his investigations. The Polaroid, Carl's long-standing and faithful ally, had seen a share of husbands caught red-handed cheating. There's always something out there waiting to be snapped away, even when removed from civilization. Hamilton is waiting for Carl in the general store. It was time for him to get down to business. William Hamilton enjoyed a lavish country house built in the very heart of the northern forests, not too far from here. populace was divided when it came to the affluent man. Some saw a wealthy philanthropist dedicated to improving the region's economy. Others, an aging Englishman who would do anything to further his fortune. And these ones hated him enough to go on about scheming against him. Carl was not made aware that winter would come early this year. The North made clear who was the boss up there, Snow, which didn't care much about the date when it felt like dumping its first load of the year. Hamilton had recently acquired a few local businesses, but the last straw was the reopening of a mine, which gave rise to a wave of protests and threats from the Green people.
whatever happened here, things got pretty rough. And not a trace of Hamilton. Gilles Lachance, Carl recollected, was the general store's manager. Should Hamilton not be available, he was the man to talk to. Or what if Hamilton had moved up his appointment with his physician? The snowstorm pummeled everything in its path. Carl was not surprised when he heard no tone. 